Welcome to Editing Monday. My name is Svetlana. I would like to share with you how to extend the background. As you see, I don't know what was wrong with me. I photograph couple off of the center. I wish I asked him to move a little bit this way further so I would not have to deal with this feather and ending. But it is what it is. I do have an image that I would like to use ending of this feather. But uh, since they chose this one and not that one, I will use the ending of the feather for beautiful to extend the background. The easier and the best way I think it's to use, I use a brush. There is thousands of way you can use you can use just patch tool, select, drag, and done. Select, done, and done. Drag, and done. All right, what we can do on this side? On this side, we're gonna use brush as another method, and we're gonna click on option key, sample, color, sample, color, sample, color, sample, and so on you can check navigator and see this square kind of looking again sample color option key sample color sample color now we're gonna zoom in and use either patch tool or again continue with the brush just make sure you get the smaller brush let's do it again sample we'll make it smaller and color sample color sample color and on that side same same thing the patch tool will help us to blend it in really nicely all right how we can add a feather here so we're gonna crop it extend I, I'm just dragging this way and let's see I'm gonna just crop it to the point where I can see the rule of third and click OK and computer will fill this space for us. It's not done yet. And that's actually not really not not really nice. So we're gonna do it by yourself. Let's crop it, extend and crop. But usually they're doing a great job. Okay, we can again use either patch tool or, or a brush, but I would like to share another method is to use marquee tool. We're gonna just do marquee to the point we can command copy, command V for paste. And then I just drag it right here. Again, we can use mask tool black brush and remove this harsh line or we can do I'm gonna go back for it again this is for uh, uh, for showing off only I just command copy oh did they do a great job or not command copy command paste and I'm holding shift key you don't have to or use the shift key and drag to the end of the image this is only for this look we don't care much about the feather we can leave as it is for example crop image over here crop very tightly over there but we can use this and in case you have a feather from other images that you shot we can use it I just selected have move tool and I'm gonna move it right here okay where our ending was I'm gonna lower the opacity move it right here opacity 100 mask tool black brush using only here and click flatten the image and again sample draw sample draw sample draw and now use your this what I call blending patch tool that is going to help us to blend these colors nicely okay we're gonna work on this in this area I 
I enlarge my brush and I'm gonna use opacity 30 and I'm brushing over here we go again now you can finish editing this image all right so we use three methods today we use just patch tool we use brush we used copy and paste and we use extend extended cloning tool oh yeah you can use cloning yes forgot about it again clone tool sample and go sample and extend since as you know the background go in this way so there's shades on the fold so you can work as 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 it is just prolongating the background like make it like same shade floor keep the same colors and keep the same brightness okay finish editing that was sweet up oh, i think i'm gonna just help oh, i can finish i have to show you know if we look at this navigator we have we want to see a nice blend how to check yourself it's the best way to check is to click on brightness and lower it. you see when we lower it we don't see any any lines harsh light that are gonna tell us we did something over here so that's it. just check on yourself if you did a nice job okay and finish editing that was Svetlana Vronska how to extend your background I will show you before and after